Fisher. Uh, I'm the host of the Theater of Public Policy. So, uh, Norma, what we do is we do improv comedy, and it's all about whatever uh, we've been listening to or the topic of a conference. Originally, we were told that this was a conference about uh, rail and transportation, and then there were a lot of tweets yesterday suggesting it was mostly about squirrels. And now, uh, and now today, it seems to be about uh, the impending generational war. So, uh, so there's a lot of stuff for us to do. So, uh, uh, just very quickly, I'd like to introduce our cast. Carmen O'Halloran. Jim Robinson. Brandon Boats. Joshua Will. And Dennis Curley on the piano. So, uh, thank you, that was nice. So, uh, basically, what we do is uh, improv comedy. Everything we do is entirely made up. Uh, we listen to this fantastic presentation. Can we give another round of applause for this? <laughs> Uh, and so, this is all made up uh, we, off the top of our heads and based on what we just heard. So, without further ado, please, a big round of applause uh, for the Theater of Public Policy. Jim, thank you very much for coming in to see me. Um, you've been with this firm for a good 15, 16 years now? 17. 17 years. Yeah. And you are the only baby boomer out on the floor, is that correct? That is true. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, the rest are millennials, and they wanted me to talk to you. Um, you actually frighten them. Um, every morning, you drive into work, you park outside, you do your job, and when you're done, you get back in your car and you go home. That's true. It wasn't a, wasn't a question. Oh. You're the only person who does that. Can you, can you take a look out my window at the parking lot? How many cars do you see? Mine? Yes. <laughs> they don't understand what that is that you come in and in the morning. But they don't understand where you go at the end of the uh, day. Uh, make it go away. I will, Tane. I will. I will. Here's, here's the new iPod 8. But, but if, I, if I don't drive, how can I put my Eagles CD in the CD player? I mean, think about it. I, when I drive, I have time to think. I mean, I can remember the good old days of Linda Ronstadt. LBJ. I don't see life in your eyes as you talk to me. I That's see a fear. Well, I am afraid. You're right. I, I feel like this entire company is... Jim, I, I wanted to let you know that we, we bought you a new house. It is right next to a bus stop. Because I know your generation oh, wants you. that. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. I'm glad you've come. Well, I'd always come when you called, Joe. I know, that's what we need to talk about. Um, yeah? Your parents raised you to be too social. Oh, well, what are you talking about? I mean, I'm making excellent eye contact and-, and I know, I know. Just, yeah. I've been, I, I've, been try, I've been trying to break up with you for six months. Well, I haven't gotten any texts about that, so there's no <laughs> real way that we can break up unless you text I me I moved about to it. another town. Well, that's okay, we have a rail between us. I can I just go on- Damn you, rail! Joe! Oh, it's so easy. Um, I'm a boomer. Could somebody help me? I, I don't understand these new parking meters. I, I put in my five-digit code, and then I, ha I have... Oh, honey, this is just when you have a nickel. Only now a nickel is worth a dollar. You just put a dollar in. I want to put money in, but there's only a slot for a debit card. Oh, well, you got to take your debit card out and align the strip where the where the, look, the picture make the picture the same as the debit card it's like you look at it's like a hang game. on hang on this feels like a shareable moment <laughs> okay one two three four five okay i i i heard a stat earlier on today that by 2030 one in five of us that means one of us is gonna be over the age of 65. Oh! What? Oh my god! I that know. is impossible! No, just, just one. No! Just, just. It's him! Yeah. He's alive! It's him! I found him! You! Come on, I'll take you all for a ride in my van. <laughs> no! Mom warned me about that and I am not getting back in another van. Okay, fine. Fine, I'm gonna be sucking up your social security. Ha! Look, a UFO! Where? 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 Where?
Hey! Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the co-working bus. We commute and work at the same time. Oh! Just a few rules. Yeah. Coffee pot at the front of the bus. If you take the last drop, you gotta refill it. Well, I can I can handle that. And you gotta be careful getting on the bus. We have the selfie station right at the front. So okay. as soon as you put your money in, take a picture, shareable moment. Oh yeah, yeah. It makes the line a little longer, but sure, sure. Where do I put my punch card in? For like when people know I started work and so I can get credit for the exact hours that I work. I, we're not so much about taking credit. This is, you know, collaboration. It's, it's an us. We like to say, the bus did this project. Oh. <laughs> but then who, one person has to drive the bus, certainly. We or take turns sometimes. Oh my goodness. Sometimes the bus doesn't go anywhere at all. I vote the bus takes a left. Uh, well, mm, we're gonna have to have a consensus. Oh, look, there's an online poll. Yeah. Oh, it Jeez. looks like most people want the bus to do a Yui. Go back home. Yeah. I guess we're going back home today. All right. The bus is spoken. Doctor, thank you. Thank you for seeing me today. It's, um, I've been living with this problem for a while, but I have transportational envy. <laughs> Tell me more. I thought I'd be cool 10 years ago and I bought a Segway. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just learned to walk again after falling off the thing so many times. Listen. I bought a bike, but it has those fat tires for the winter, and when I ride it during the summer, everybody laughs at me. I bought a smart car. Yeah. Now you can just rent them. <laughs> I, 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 I personally like the smart cars because I, I feel big in them, but I bet you're kind of like... <laughs> But this is more about you, I'm this sorry. This is about, this is about me. I was just self-disclosing to make you feel like you understood me. I do, I, I, what, what can I do? My, my neighbors, they get on the train. My mom and dad, they get on the train too. They get on the train too. Right. But it's a different train. It's a, yeah, well, It's a different train. Yeah, they live out east, it goes underground. Here we're above ground and we right, can see everything. Right, I think you've got to get rid of the Segway to start. And then if I were you, I'd buy some new shoes. Walk. 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 Here, my daughter gave me this. It's called an iPad. And when I press that, oh! those, I know those are people walking. Don't listen to him. You can get out of this. You don't have to walk anywhere. You don't have to drive anywhere. Just build a rail line wherever you are. Where? You can have it anywhere. Just demand it. <laughs> I demand a rail line. Fine. Everybody gets a rail line. I'm tired of filling out all these grants. Doctor? <laughs> I have rail line envy. <laughs> all right, so uh, uh, we've, we've, we've done our best. I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna preface everything I say by saying we did our best, okay? <laughs> we were trying to build a transit livable community that would make all generations happy. I'm not happy! God, <laughs> let me finish the presentation. I can't hear you! <laughs> I wanted tilapia. This was chicken. What's going on? Tilapia is the chicken of the sea. That's tuna. I remember that from the television set. <laughs> I don't believe a word you say. No, you don't. You're a Gen Xer, and therefore you are going to be on floors 12 through 14. I'm a traditionalist. What the hell are all these letters? You are going to be on the very top of this building. We will come and get you when we need you. I built this building and I'm coming down. And you haven't been running that one in front of us for years. Good job. You built everything. Now let us not trust this institution, okay? Don't talk to my dad like that. Yeah, go get her. Yeah. I'm, I can't see well. I thought you were a woman. I listen. <laughs> No, listen here. I'm a generation that grew up with violence, so just, just step. Violence. I will. E Iwo Jima. Oh, what? You think a little piece of land? You know what? I've got all of downtown behind me, so you just step back. I have the suburbs. Sure. All of them. See if you can even get more than twelve people at a time to congregate. Woodburn. <laughs> you know what? We're having a pizza party on Super Bowl day and we're gonna kick your... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see. 
I'm going to I'm going to go downtown and just see what everybody's doing, and then we're, we'll meet we'll meet back here. And Where are you going to? You can't park downtown. No one goes downtown. There is no parking. That's the point. Why don't you understand? I don't want well, You can have downtown block E for Christ's sake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm, uh, my name's Joshua Wilt. I am uh, part of that generation that wasn't spoke about today. Generation W, um, <laughs> that, that weird sliver of time from 1969 to 1971 where we kind of had what they had. We had to get up and change the TV manually. Um, but it was that cable box on the top that just flicked across the top and then you'd, you'd have to flick it back. We're the generation where mom would put us in the front seat of the car at the age of six, without a seatbelt. <laughs> we were the last generation that could smoke in public, and then we were ashamed that we weren't allowed to do it anymore, and it was our fault for cancer. <laughs> I have generational envy, doctor. I understand. I was born in 1959. Was there color back then? On some television sets? No, just in life. Oh, yeah. True. No, we, uh... We were the generation that had the largest student bodies. We had 45 people in my second grade class in a portable classroom that was hot in the summer, I, cold in the winter. I understand, guys. I was born in 1981. I didn't have a cell phone till I was in college, and Facebook was an advent of my 20s. It's hard. I still don't know how to turn off my cell phone. <laughs> But we're cuspers, you know that? That's true. We're cuspers. And as cuspers, we have the best of both. And the worst of both. <laughs> they talk about this new generation, and we didn't talk about them much because they're, they're not, you know, they're not affecting change, but unless you have a two-year-old girl who tells you what to do every single morning and how she's going to dress, <laughs> I don't know my place in history, and I don't know where I'm going to go, and I don't know what to tell my kids. You could leave her on a train. <laughs> Probably be cared for by the county. We millennials are very community oriented. We'll take her. Here. I won't give her my baby, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. I, I feel so much better. Gee, I'm, I'm glad. We found some, some, some common ground. Yeah, just don't leave your baby in the podium anymore. <laughs> All right, son. I think it's about time that uh, you learn the art of failure. Well, hey, yo. Well, that's a good way to start. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, is, that, is that what you're planning to wear to school today? Yes. Awesome. Please keep talking like that all day. <laughs> you're going to go up and you're going to talk to some girls? Yes. Let's, let's hear. What's here? What, you, what are you going to say? Did you see the letter I sent you in the mail? Wow. <laughs> this is much easier than I thought it would be. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know if it's the 23,000 hours of television you watched last year, or uh, the fact that, you know, the generation before you basically dismantled society, but somehow you have, <laughs> you have ended up to just be a helpless sack of polyester. Wait, yo. <laughs> At least I can eat some kale. And maybe go to this conference about the rail. I you never got that loser still at home? I never should have bought it a rhyming dictionary. <laughs> you do call me it too much. Yes, Dad, I still have a child at home. She's only 12. Move her out! Get her a trailer, I don't care. I'm not going to buy her a trailer. That doesn't make sense. Make her buy her own trailer. All right. Buy your own trailer. This is, this is the hard lesson. This is going to make you a better consumer someday of transit choices. Well, I'll look for the trailer. If only there was a sale. Oh, my God. Put her to death. <laughs> Son, as I leave you here on your college campus yeah. and I drive back home, yeah. I want you to leave you with the words that my father left me. Go on. You are not a unique flower. <laughs> Dad, I know that. You've always taken every opportunity to tell me. I did. 
When I called you and said, I, I got on the wrong bus, I ended up in the wrong part of town. You pretended like I'd called for pizza. Yes. Completely ignored me. I did. But then I got back a day later. <laughs> I learned a lesson. Yes. Don't get on the bus. Don't get on the bus. Bus is for squirrels. <laughs> Not for boys. Yes. So, thank you. I'll call before I come home. I, I, I know I'm not that generation that says, come on home. I don't, I'm going to say it so everyone can hear it around me, but I don't mean no, it. No, I no. mean, I'll be sure to bring wine or some cheese or something. Yeah, that'd be okay. You can bring some wine. No. That'd be okay. So. All right. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Conrad! Conrad! Your cohort is each putting in 21 hours taking care of their older parents. You've only put in 16. Oh. I'm sick of sitting here. You got me five more hours. Oh my god. This is my only character today, apparently. Oh. <laughs> oh. But I grew up with him, so I know him well. You're so boring on so many levels. So what? Can't not, hear you. I know, I know. Okay, so we've got, uh, what is that, five more hours? My yep. generation didn't learn math. Uh, so, five more hours. What do you want to do for five hours there? I want to ride the train. Trains. Yep. Yeah, that must have been something that you did to get out west once upon a time. <laughs> it's how I got to the Twin Stadium. Come on. I'm not an idiot. It's old. Okay, so you want to ride the train because it's nice and smooth. I want to ride the train because I want to go somewhere. You're not, you're just, you're so focused right now on the destination and not the journey. I'm just going <laughs> to say that. If you were any more condescending, I'd send you outside in the cold and lock the door. Oh, you sound like Dad. I love it. It's so fun. So. I, I thought I was Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Have I walked into the wrong house again? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, welcome to our local organic transit hub. We've got a lot of different, we've got a lot of varieties of, you know, travel, however you want to go. So what are you in the mood for? Uh, we have a new bus service. It's operated by a local teenage group. You know, they put in their hours and they learn a little from job skills. Sure, sure, sure. That sound good? Well, we've also got a rail. It's made out of local wood. Um, <laughs> reclaimed, actually. Uh, it only has two stops. Okay. So I hope that's not a problem. But yeah, where do you want to go? Well, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm just looking just kind of to a getaway weekend. Uh, yeah. You know, just to kind of see the sights. And I don't, just, you know, me, basically. Is there any way that I can just go someplace just me? Yeah, yeah, totally. Right on, man. Boop, boop. Steamboat's coming into the transit station. Would you like to get on a steamboat? It's just arrived. You know, that sounds fun, but I think I'd just be walking around it the whole time. I actually, I actually want to, like, get out to the country and see those, those big wood things that have the green things on top. Yeah, trees. Trees, oh, yes. Yeah. I want to see those. Zeppelin tours. Don't Zeppelin fly the Zeppelin, it never ends well. <laughs> it's great, I use the Zeppelin to commute. It takes about two weeks, but you know. Okay. Well, well here's the thing, I, I was talking to my therapist and he yeah. said I should do this thing called walking. Right on, man, that's yeah. old school. Walking is great. How do you pronounce it? Walking. What? There's an L in there though, I don't yeah. hear that. Yeah, Wa walking. Wa no, walking. 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 Zeppelin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that happens. Okay. So I was wondering, do you have any of these walking Walkings? things? Yeah, yeah. Personally, my nickname is Christopher Walken. So I'm going to go for a little Christopher Walken. <laughs> so so that's, like how, that. that's how yeah. we do it. We just lean back and... Yeah, just this, do a little Christopher. This, this really just doesn't feel comfortable at all. This doesn't... Well, you got to arch your back more. There you go. <laughs> See? And this, this is just what people do. Yeah the oldest form of transit. I'm Anderson Cooper. We're back into hour three coverage of the new type of walking because we have 24 hours to fill. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found in the alleyway. It's called a Segway. Someone was getting rid of it. Can you believe it? I cannot. Hey, Conrad, it's Dad. I got it. <laughs> Dad, cool. So you're going to ride this Segway. By the way, we've got about 40 more minutes before I'm no longer obligated to be with you. So. I don't need you. I got wheels now, or wheel. 
It's a, it's, I think it's two wheels and a gyroscope. Don't you talk like that in front of me. <laughs> I'll wash the mouth out. Okay. Uh, so, so you're gonna, you got your new segue. It's not new. I found it in the alley. Someone was getting rid of it. So it's new to you. The point is, where are you going in your segue? Who cares? I'm just getting out of here. No, before you said it was all about the destination. You told me it was about the journey. I'm loving this. <laughs> I got on my biker pants and my clogs. You shoes. know, if there's one thing about you traditionalists, it's that you're very fickle and you can't make up your mind about what you care about or believe in. Well, I know what I don't care about now. You, son, adios. <laughs> <laughs> so next year's conference is in Dallas. I don't know if they can do it as well as they did it here in Minneapolis. I uh, know. It's, it's gonna be real flat there. It's going to be, but they've got that one transit line that just goes off into the distance. They say oh, no one's ever heaven. ridden it to the end. <laughs> Why, well, I can't imagine what manner of wildlife they'll be way out there. Maybe we go on a safari together. Maybe we'll see some longhorn cattle and giraffes. Welcome to El Paso. Oh my goodness, we're near the border with Mexico. How did that happen? I know very little about Texas geography. <laughs> <laughs> I got on in the stop in Beaumont and I got off in El Paso. Then I took the spur up to Amarillo. My goodness. The spur, how exotic. We just call them different colored lines here. They talk about different paraphernalia. Their well, their spurs. Oh, uh, this, this gentleman's been riding horses for a long time. Oh, yeah. I actually walked all the way from Minneapolis to this conference. Took me all year. We're in 2015, October. I saw that special on CNN. And I'm going to tell you, walking hurts. Well, yes. Is there, a, is there a conference or anything going on here about mass transit or trains? Or Apparently I've been here for just two minutes, but I've adopted the accent. <laughs> It'll happen to you. I don't even use an accent. I just gravel up my voice and I can be old or Texan. <laughs> Listen, there's... I just put dick phones in things. <sighs> so we're at a conference in Texas. It's called Railvolution. Rail There's volution. a rail volution coming. You can't stop it. That sounds like a. <laughs> that song sounds like a song cue. The Does rail volution is coming. The rail volution is coming. You can't stop it. Rail volution is coming. And your mom and dad can't stop it. All alone. Sing it, pretty boy. The revolution, you can't stop it. it. Doesn't matter what you do, just don't drop it. Because it's very fragile, it'll break like an egg. Please hire us next year and don't make me beg. We'll take the bus. Dallas and walk to your convention center. We'll use gruff voices and physical comedy. We'll hang up weird ways of performing words by speaking old strange like a trick song. It's revolution. It's revolution. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I don't know what to
just happened. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay! Uh, so, thank you all so much. So, one last time, we're the theater of public policy. We're based here in Minneapolis. If you enjoyed what you saw today, please uh, look us up on the Facebook or the Twitter uh, or the internet and uh, come and find us again. And uh, we will stalk you to Dallas next year. With that, we have been Tane Danger, Carmen O'Halloran, Joshua Will, Jim Robinson, Brandon Bowe, and Dennis Curley's on the piano. Yeah.